Hello again everyone, this is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart and this is Technical Analysis of Caterpillar. This is the daily chart. We're going to start out with the weekly chart and let's show all of the weekly. Alright, so uh, it looks like the low point for this overall cycle was back here in 1984 and I'm calling one impulse wave up, two back, three up, four back. Got five primary waves in here up to the peak of the fifth one and that completes the five wave cycle. You then got this corrective action in here, and uh, this corrective action corrects the entire move. Okay, so it's kind of curious. Let's take a look at this. Let's go from here. Let's see if that's going to be close. Okay, so well over 61.8%, deep, deep correction. Okay, the, the low in here was what, 22 something, and the high was. Uh, it's not showing me. Uh, high was like 80 something. So yeah, it corrected uh, quite a bit, three quarters of the pricing. So then, then it takes off again. But when we look at the wave pattern, uh, and the other thing that I'm not, not sure of, because I don't have data, I know CAT's got data back into the 60s and 50s. What I don't, I'm going to assume that this is similar to the Dow in terms of the cycle that we're in and that this is probably pretty close to being the, you know, maybe the fifth wave up from uh, from 1932. And I don't know when CAT first started trading. So we got this really strong correction here. We got this bounce back. Um, you know, one thing, let me take a look at the uh, the volume. See, that's, see, look at this. This is what's happening on the Dow, too. The volume drops off. Look at this. You know, this is a 50-week moving average of the volume, but you can see in the blue in the shade. So on this entire rise here to 2011, the volume was weakening. Okay, then we get this sell-off, and and the volume picks up on the sell-off. And then you get the rally, and the volume's dropping off again on the rally. And then we're just dying off. We're dying off. And this, this you know, it just it looks like it were just trending down uh, in this pattern. So it just reinforces to me that this is more of a, uh, you know, we got the first thrust down, now we got the bounce back, we're looking for like a B wave, and this is uh, similar to what we're seeing in the Dow on a weekly basis, an A, B, C, W, X, and then we're looking for a Y. It's like a combination of uh, corrective moves going on, a zigzag here, a zigzag here, connecting move, and now we're getting like a flat almost. It's like A and B coming back down almost to the beginning of A. And then we're getting this uh, bracketed C move. Okay, let's move, let's look in at the uh, at the daily. And you can see that here's where that B wave was. Okay, on the other on the weekly chart. So now we got a first wave up, and then we got this choppiness sideways. And my best assessment of this is because there are all three waves in here, this is like an A, B, C, and then a corrective X, and then A, B, C, and that completes wave two as a correction. And notice that wave two did not go below the beginning of wave one. Okay, so we got a legitimate wave two, complex sideways correction, kind of unusual for wave two, but you know it does happen. Now you take off in your strong wave three, minor wave three up, now we're getting this uh, flat correcting four, and then this fifth wave up into here with this um, with this ending di a diagonal type of move, and so I think that we've gotten our this is wave uh, the uh, Y primary wave Y, so I think we've gotten our complete correction on cat. I think we're at Y, and so W X Y is in. The moves down now if this turns around and takes out the highs we're going to have to reassess but right now i think we're heading down and there's a good chance just by the way this chart looks the way the volume has been acting we're going to probably try to you know take a shot at breaking this trend line um, so uh, you can see this first move down to the first move down is in five waves five minor waves and now we had a little pullback this is today's action today is uh, august 7th so that's in the data. So that's my best assessment of CAT. I think we're turning the corner and turning down. Uh, and we'll just have to continue to watch the wave count. So if you felt this video was helpful, please share it uh, on social media. 
And uh, if you're not a subscriber, just uh, click the little red box here and download my PDF that I've got for you and uh, fill out the email, your first name and email, and you'll be good to go to follow me on Beyond the Chart. All right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We'll see you on the next video.